Hey, Donna Price here, business marketing strategist and coach. When you started your business, did you ever imagine how hard it was going to be? Did you realize what you were really getting into? I know that I didn't. I had this like fantasy, you know, if you build it, they will come and it just didn't work that way. And part of what I had to do was start learning how to be a business owner, right? Learning how to market, how to do videos and all the different pieces of putting yourself out there and um, and selling yourself or your product or service. And what I started finding as I started learning it was that most small business owners kind of started the same way I did. Um, we all made that same kind of mistake of if you build it, they will come and it just wasn't working. I always say that it. I do believe it works for um, ice cream in the right location. They do just they kind of come, right? Ice cream's always going to be a draw, but in the wrong location, maybe not so much. So what I found was that um, there's four pillars to success in business. The first is leadership, your vision and your strategy. I believe that without vision, it's hard to create an effective strategy because you just don't know where you're going. So how do you build the map to get there? The second pillar is marketing, 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 marketing. It's something that we all have to do, except for ice cream shops, um, to let people know that we're in business and what we offer and what we sell. And getting that really clear. I found that in my own business, people were sometimes unclear what service I actually offered and what I could, how I could help them in their business. Um, so your marketing and communications plan has to be clear consistent and um, frequent. I've failed at that sometimes too. Um, but creating a plan so that you know what you're doing and how you're implementing it. Creating, I always um, work with business owners on creating a system so that we can tweak the system if it's not working and make it work better. The third pillar is um, operations, creating that well-oiled machine. Making sure that you're not creating a business that's a monster that you just don't even like. I've seen some of those monsters. I actually created a monster myself, and then I was like, "Ah, oh, this is um, this is a monster. <laughs> I don't want this business." You know, so you want to create a business that you can love and that you're passionate about, and that's inspiring, and you want to go to work every day, and that doesn't consume you whole, like totally. So creating an operational plan and the systems within the business to help it run well is part of that. Operations also increases profits. When you have good operations, you can consistently increase your profits. So an operational plan for your marketing that you're tracking and you're paying attention to increases profits. You know, so we look at all those different operations um, for your business. The fourth pillar is um, your products and service, products or service. You can't have a business without a product or a service of some sort, right? So you have to have something that you're selling. So what is the product? What is the service? And we take some time to look at that. Um, first is pricing. So if we change the pricing, we can increase profits, right? And I find a lot of business owners terrified to even look at their pricing and um, haven't changed their pricing in years and years and years. So we look at that pricing and that's a strategy for increasing profits. Um, but we can also look at how your product or service is um, packaged. You know, is it a standalone product or are there things we can add on to the product? Um, you know, so I, I've um, worked in a bike shop where we sold bikes and we can add on the pump, the tire repair kit, the water bottle cage, the water bottle, um, possibly a rack, um, bags to carry stuff in. You know, so there's all these add-ons that can increase the profits for the bike shop. So what are the add-ons that you have that you can add? Are there upsells? You know, so do you have a product that's a more VIP product that you can upsell somebody to? If the person can't buy your product or can't afford it right now, do you have a downsell, something else that you can offer them? So in products and services, there's many different ways that we can increase profits that we can look at for um, improving the bottom line. So those are the four pillars of success.
they all rest on a foundation. Pillars stand on foundations, right? And the foundation is you, your health, your wellness. And without that strong foundation, I believe that it's hard to create an effective business. So the foundation is your self-care, like taking care of yourself, your mindset, like making sure that you're doing the work on your own mindset so that you don't have limiting beliefs that are getting in your way of sales or <coughs> creating the success that you really want. So you want to, <coughs> excuse me, make sure that you're working on doing the personal work that you need to do. And for me, that's been one of the greatest parts of business ownership is that personal work. <clears throat> when you do that personal work and you work on your success mindset, your positive mindset, that also impacts your bottom line. If you have beliefs, limiting beliefs that get in your way of speaking or networking or making the sale, all that Im impacts your bottom line. And if you don't do the work to change that mindset, um, you could be out of business or not do as well as you had envisioned. So that foundation is a key to keeping all four pillars standing up well. In my book, Becoming a Bizologist, I outline this whole um the four pillars and how you can increase profits and um, the foundation. So I encourage you to go pick up a copy of that. It's um, becoming a bizologist. And if you go to the website, bizology.biz, you can access a copy and um, for free. And I look forward to hearing your questions about the different pillars for success or the different ways that you can increase your profits over time. So I just want to thank you for watching this short video. Make sure you go pick up a copy of Becoming a Bizologist at bizology.biz and um, start making the changes in your business to make it that well-oiled machine, make it work efficiently and easily and something that you just love every day.